What are we doing today, Jimmy? Huh? What are we doing today? We're going to Mount Lassen. Gonna find the cash. His caches, yeah. Caches. But so like, I've done uh, it was like a last minute thing because Mike is leaving soon. I thought we didn't really do much over uh, over my vacation. I mean, like we just did my car repairs, but that's about it. So whenever we do vacation, we do something like significant, like go to Oregon or do something else. Like, what, oh yeah, go to the waterfall or something like that, you know? Yeah, and but this time we'll we would just like go to make an entire Lassen. album of yeah. music. And so far we've only got partially one song. Anyway, done a pocket query and got over a thousand caches. Transferred them over to here and made hash browns. And now we're gonna go find some of these things. Oh, and yesterday, I didn't show you yesterday, but I got this interesting lock. It's just like that. And you can set the combination to any combination of ups, downs, lefts, or rights. And uh, you can set it to any length. So right now I just have it one. You just go up and it'll open. Mount Blossom looks more distant in the flip cam than it does in real life. I mean, in real life it looks a lot closer, but it looks like a little tiny dot in the flip cam. But yeah, that's where we're heading. So we're climbing up this mountain. We're just over 2,000 feet, and I was noticing my engine temperature really high. For some reason, it's way up there. So I pulled over, and we're letting the engine cool. Well, that looks Flapping in the wind. I started recording too late, but yeah, we're at Lassen National Forest. We are a lot closer to Lassen now. I don't think it's going to be a tiny little dot on the flip cam screen anymore. Well, if we get a good view of it, of course, all these trees are in the way. We should just cut them all down. We are here at the first cache. We're about 60 or so miles from Jimmy's house. And all that distance, I was 60 feet away. From the cache. Found two. Two travel poles. Two travel bugs. Cool. Never two poles. I can put two trackables in there myself that I can hold it on to for a while. Uh... There's the area. You discovered all the ones you've done already, right? Yep. Second log book. It's a replacement, so the other one was here before this. The first log, 619, which is tomorrow of 2005, which means tomorrow this will have been here for six years, which is crazy, and all these signatures, all these people have been here, tons. And this trackable made it, well, one of its goals to go to like a national park. Oh yeah, that's what its goals was, to be here, or it's a national park. To be in a national park. There's a national park right now, so that's cool. There's our signature, 618, 11, 
This log started 6-19-05. Cool. A bee. Bees. We have rehidden it using every possible material that we could use for camouflage around the area. We have volcanic rocks, pine needles, pine cones, moss, sticks with moss, bigger sticks, sticks with a little bit of moss, bark, this plant, grass, uh, other types of pine cones, and now, with all of the camouflage, it blends in, and you can't even tell anything's there. There's rocks there too. And rocks, that's what the first thing I said. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Let's review the tape. We have volcanic rocks, pine needles, pine cones. What? What about them? They found it, see? That was a mushroom attack. Is that what their signature item is? Yeah. Weird. Cool. So we're in Lassen County, and we found a big pile of red stone. Mike had the urge to climb it. Volcanic rock. I I don't know if it's volcanic rock. I no, I think it's. It, oh, it is. Lava is red. Yeah, but when it solidifies, it becomes black or gray or whatever. It's all dusty. It's very soft. Kind of. Let me let me run up it. Avalanche. Uh, Mike, record me going up it. I've got an idea. I just get a running start. And Cool. I've made it. Oh, of Mount Red thing, stone. Now, on my way down. Run down. As fast as you can, run. Huh? Run. As fast as you can. Anyway, got to get all the rocks out of my shoe. We are starting right now a 50 cache marathon all down this road about a tenth of a mile apart every single one. There's 50. This is number 1. We will update as necessary. They're all micros. Somewhere around here. First one is found, and the rest are all exactly the same. Container, anyway. So, now we know what to look for. Alright. This is number five. Found number five. Log attempt. Found. Find next closest. And then we just sign it, get in the truck, drive. miles away? Yeah. Wow. Oh, the O-ring fell out. There it is. Ah, mosquitoes. So many mosquitoes, too. This is my job. I just sit here. I just, I get the mosquitoes away from Jimmy. Come on, sign the log. Slow process. Slow tedium process. We're up to number eight. And, look, snow. That is weird. It's like 60 degrees out right now. 
almost 70. There's snow on the ground. But anyway, we're looking for number eight. Found it? Cool. There it is. We are at number 12. The mosquitoes are relentless. They will not relent. Manzanita, you say? Manzanita. That Manzanita. He likes to eat. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Right there. Yes. Log it. Look, there's another one. Just get your proboscis out of my skin. Number 22. It's .1654. It's like, how about we, uh, oh, it's 4 and 28. It's right here. Right there in that pull out place. Now, get out. Nope. Clue. Tree down. 25. We did not find number 22, the one we were looking for last nope. time. Uh, but we realized that the last three were DNFs, so I reluctantly gave up on it. Micah did so, not so reluctantly. Halfway, halfway done. Halfway done. There's 50 of them overall. I'm sure we told you that before. Two hours. It's been two hours. We found 30, 35 so far. This is number 36. We oh, actually went past it. Way past it. It's 200 feet away. Okay, let's get out and walk there. Should be there. Still 84 feet away though. Oh. He found it. I thought it was going to be in the other V of the trees. It does kind of show it on here, though. Uh, we were curious as to where the dirt trail went, and uh, um, it goes to a, a little monument thingy right there, and like some power lines where I guess people can work on the power lines. See, I don't know if you can see it past the. Uh, water stains or whatever those are but see there's a power line so I guess these are power line yeah, access roads. That one or that one? Yeah, that one. Are you sure? I don't know. I thought I saw dust on that one though. I think we came from this side. Okay. Either way I think it leads to the road. Very dirty windshield but um, I know. You can see Sorry for any shaky camera work. It is a very rocky road. Dirty road. Oh, that seems different. Is this the same? place that we started from? I don't know. No, because this thing doesn't have the thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you see it? It's in there. See it? There it is. Found it. Micah just drove off, so, um... I guess I'm just gonna destroy his flip cam. Yeah, I'm on the back of Mike's truck. I caught up with him. <laughs> he 
this is strange. Oh, he's going to the next cache. There it is. Found it. Cool. We are at number 49. Two more. We didn't find the last one. That's the third DNF. But we did find three extras. So we'll find an even 50. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was right on the back of Mike's head all along. We are signing the final cache. Number 50. Cool. Log attempt. Found. Find next closest. Almost obsolete three. Anyway, or do you just want to go back to your house? Uh, depends on whether or not I've found an even number of caches because I like to have an even number of finds total whenever I'm done caching. Just put all that on top, Jimmy. We're at the pizza factory for dinner.